what's going on? What's going on? Happy Friday to our core of you family. We are the core of you community of restoration and enlightenment. Welcome to another Friday of welcome to another core of you Friday combo. Um, it's what six, maybe six oh one here in Los Angeles, and it's crazy around here right now. We're just a little bit outside of Los Angeles. But the Super Bowl is here this weekend, so... 89 degrees today. It's 89 degrees today. Things are really, really uh, going crazy. You want to just kind of stay in the house and relax because it's going to be hectic if you go anywhere downtown. But we hope that you, uh, if you're having a Super Bowl party or dinner, or if you're just enjoying the big game this weekend, we hope that you have a good time. Absolutely. And that you stay safe and that you please, please, please be mindful that we are still dealing with COVID. Um, and anyone, if you have anyone in your family that's dealing with that right now, going through those troubles, um, the coughing, the, the the flu symptoms, the headaches, the temperature raising, all of that stuff, we hope that you are well and everything is going good. But today we wanted to hit you. I heard something the other day that uh, it was a saying that it said that, um, the sayings, I want to make sure I say it the right way. The saying was, we become what we say to ourselves. So then it made me ask myself the question, what am I saying to me? You know what I mean? Every day when I get up before I hit this world, what am I saying to me? Um, I wanted to, I was thinking at one point sometime this week, um, I was not really feeling down, wasn't really feeling great. It's just kind of chill, right? And wifey just came to me and rubbed me on my back and just told me that she loved me. And I was like, hmm, it just made me feel good. It picked me up. Like I said, although I wasn't down or sad, I just was like, oh, it was an uplifting. Um, but I thought about that and I thought about, yeah, I never did tell you that. But I thought about in the morning when I get up and I look in the mirror, what kind of motivation do I give to me before I hit the road? You know, that's so funny because I was just taking this somatic soul um meditation class and one of the exercises we did was to give ourselves a round of applause mm, i like Girl, that you did that right. Woo, you got up today <laughs> you faced the day you killed it at work okay. you killed it at being a mom you killed it at being a husband you right. know like it felt so good to just clap it out. Because, you know, you do that as teams and you do that right, right. when you uh, practice things. So I was like, oh, a round of applause for myself. And the, you know how it's like those simple kind of things that you do that start to invigorate you? I like that. So the, the, the thing is, what do you say to yourselves? Because... We become what we say to ourselves. So what, I know this. I know that like when you when you study like psychology and things like that, you get to learn about like self-fulfilling prophecy mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that you don't cancel out your blessings or your favor before they even arrive. <laughs> you know, you want to make sure that you uh, stay positive and add another positive with a positive. If you are going to be negative, maybe you should put a positive in front of it first. And then if you're going to be negative, then make sure you follow up with a positive Whatever it is, but what is it that you're saying to you to make sure that you are thriving, that you are successful? A lot of times we wait for that standing ovation from everybody else. Um, but what are you saying to you? Are you giving yourself a round of applause? Are you giving yourself a standing ovation? Uh, when you look in the mirror, do you feel good about what you see? Do you feel good about how you feel? If you don't, um, we're certainly praying for you and sending positive energy your way to hopes that you will feel better. But I think it's good, you know, and so they they say a lot of times um, if you get your hair cut and you know, women get the nails done and hair done, put some makeup on, put on a nice outfit, it automatically will start to make you feel better. Oh, like if you look good, you feel good. If you look good, you feel good. So I'm trying to say if you speak good, you will also Ooh, feel good. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. If you think good, mm, exactly. Because it does start with an inkling of a thought. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and and I know that low low vibration thoughts they just uh they pull you down. And when you speak it, it's almost like now you just done cursed yourself. And I try the children. You and I all have a statement that I actually got from a spiritual mentor advisor cancel clear delete like mm. if i say what i if i put something out there that i don't want to to stay uh that's beautiful hanging it's a, over my which is a powerful reminder that 
you it's never too late to to kind of uh what do we call it start start fresh start again start again start again yeah so it's so start funny our children thoughts, our yeah. children are around her <laughs> when they when they hear or say something negative the other one will correct the other one and say cancel clear delete <laughs> cancel clear delete you it's it's important it's important that we it's important that we uh speak positive over our own lives it's important that we speak prayer and pray over our own lives it's important that we meditate it's important that we surround ourselves with as many positive people as we can right um, so in those moments where you may not feel like encouraging yourself, it's 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 powerful to have someone else there to encourage you. Absolutely. Oh, speaking of uh, people to encourage you, shout out to master hairstylist um, Crystal Prince. She gave us this book, turned us on to this book called I don't know if you guys can see it, The Power of Prayer to Enrich Your Marriage. So this is just a book of prayers, mm. and so hubby and I will scroll through randomly. And read a prayer. Try to read one. Not every night, but when we think about yeah, it, you know, yeah. if it's not too busy, read a prayer to each other. Um, I think that's powerful. But I, but, but I think you know, also too, when I when I get up in the morning, I'm I'm trying to be as positive as I can. And sometimes they're still asleep, and I'm showering, I'm getting dressed, and going through all those things. And I'm just thinking good. And I'm saying that I'm gonna have a good day today. Today is mm -hmm. gonna be a great day. I'm gonna be proactive. I'm gonna be productive. I'm going to uh, uh, speak to people, um, even if they don't speak to me. I'm going to smile. Well, we have the mask on all day, so they can't really see can that, right? So you can smile with your eyes, right? But you can speak. You can say hello. You're going to, when people come with negative things, I'm going to try to flip it and turn around. Let's go positive with this. Uh, you know, we can always point out everything that's wrong, right? But what's good with this situation? What's right with this situation? How can we make it better instead of just focusing on the negative? But I do that for me and to myself. And when I get out of the house and I'm feeling good, I'm ready to go. I'm I'm ready to run. I'm ready to hit the road. And it always feels good that I have my family. And if they are up and I say, love you guys. And they say, love you. And I kiss all of them and then get on out the house. But that just makes me feel good. And I'm also speaking positive over them as well. Because I really do believe that words are power. People will say often that words can be life. And I don't want to say words can be death, but I will say this. I will, I like to say this. I like to, I'm trying to change because words are so powerful, right? So I will say words can build and words can tear down. So as I'm trying to be positive, I'm trying to use those kinds of words that are uh, conducive to building and not tearing anything down. Yeah, yeah, that that's, that's so, so important. And it's almost like if you know the saying that they that you do for other people. If you can't say something good, don't say nothing at all. Right. If you can't say something good to, over yourself, then just don't say it. Don't say nothing. I like that. That's that's good. Just don't say nothing at all, because why uh, we become the things that we say to ourselves. Uh, I think sometimes uh, what other people say sometimes it matters. For some people, it, it's the world. So you got to be careful of the people you allow to speak over your life. But I think for some people, they don't really, it doesn't really, it doesn't take effect so much of what other people say, but it most certainly will hurt you if you're not careful of the things you say to you. It most certainly can be detrimental. Let's say that it can be <laughs> detrimental um, um, of the things that go on in your life. So I, we encourage you to speak positive over yourself. So that you can have a positive day, you can enter into a situation with positive, with positive, and we hope that your ending will also be positive. And that's why we come to you on these Fridays for our Core View Friday conversation, just to give you something positive. We hope that you guys have an awesome and a wonderful weekend. Um, please join us on the Core of You, C O R E of the letter U, Facebook. Instagram, YouTube page, we have a website. Check us out, share this video if you like it. If you don't like it, that's cool. Let us know things that you think we may be able to do better. We are always here for constructive criticism. Um, and if you love it, we absolutely would like to hear that. All right. We uh, greeted you with peace and we'll leave you in the same way with peace. <laughs>